Hyperlands and Nether games, both notorious for their great gameplay and great outcomes. But the question still remains, which server is better? Well today, we are going to be answering those questions today. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the video. Okay, so games on Hyperlands, there isn't really that much of a variety of games. Only Duels, Sky Wars, Bed Wars, Bridge, and UHC Meetup. But every single game having its unique factor of maps. Except for UHC Meetup, which you can't really choose your own maps. Besides that, you can pick your own maps in Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Bridge, and I don't think Duels, but that might be coming soon. And in Bed Wars, Bed Wars has a variety of maps. Sadly, unlike Nether Games, which only allows you to pick a map without letting you actually pick it yourself. Let's look at the variety of maps here. Like, there are so many maps that I couldn't even find time to say all of these. I definitely could say all of them, but there are just so many, which just goes to prove that this has way more maps than Nether Games. Also, another thing that I want to talk about is the requirements for the game, or for Hyperland, I should say. The requirements for YouTube rank, for example, is only a thousand subs. You need to have at least 20,000 views on a video. But with with Nether Games, you have to have, I think, over a thousand subs. They might have updated it, but you need to have at least over a thousand subs. And that are pretty hard requirements to meet, especially for the small YouTubers out there like me. So the requirement spectrum and the map spectrum on YouTube or Minecraft, to be example, one point goes to Hyperland for this one. Now we move on to number two, gameplay. Hyperland has pretty good gameplay. I will say that with with pleasure. Because, I mean, you can play smoothly, aim smoothly, and you can do whatever bridge you want without getting lagged back. But that's the only thing about, like, that's the only thing about bridging. On nether games, you kind of get lagged out. You kind of get lagged back a little bit. Like I said, the bridging methods, they're pretty good in nether games because you can actually practice them just that little bit. But in Hyperland, you can actually do the bridging methods without having to practice them because you don't get lagged back at all. When you do all these bridges, these special bridges that you want to do to show off to your friends, you don't get lagged back. So that one point on the bridging spectrum also goes to Hyperland. Number three, though, the community. How good is the community compared to Nether Games and Hyperland? I've played Nether Games before, and I didn't really get that well of a toxic. I mean, I didn't really get that good of a community because I got killed, and then someone whispered to me for some reason. Someone whispered to me not so many nice things. And on Hyperland, that doesn't really happen often, but when you kill someone on Nether Games, that's probably what's gonna happen. So, the community spectrum, but that's only one person. So, there are plenty more people, so we don't fully know how many people are toxic and how many people are not. But yeah, it doesn't really go as far to show how bad the community is between Nether Games and Hyperland, but in terms of community-wise, Nether Games doesn't really seem that bad. It's just a select few of people in Nether Games that decide to act, you know, not the best. So probably that one really goes in a tie, so one point for Hyperlands and one point for Nether Games. I mean, you really can't argue. When did this guy get Obsidian? When? Alright, back to the video. So... How playable is how playable are these servers? Is Hyperland crossplay? Can you play it on PC? Is Nether Games crossplay? Can you play it on PC and console? Well, the answer to both of these is yes. Because there's a server that you can join that allows you to join both of these networks even on console. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's true up to this time. I do not know if Hyperland is crossplay, so. Yeah, at the time of me making this video, that answer is still unknown. But when I'm editing, I'm sure I'll find out the truth and I will explain it. But yeah, I'm guessing on that spectrum, it probably goes to a tie, because I'm guessing that it is true. 
So, one point to both of those for that one. And the final one I will for today. The final one that will decide who wins. Hyperlands or Nether Games. Which is better? Nether Games is entertainment. How entertained can you get from both of these games? First off, in Hyperlands, you get the same amount of entertainment, but different varieties of games. But, that's the thing. Nether Games kind of took Hypixel style and completely copied off of Hypixel, no offense. But, do you see the major differences between Hypixel and Nether Games? No, you don't. So that's the only thing. You can go into high you can go into high pixel and other games and you can see their similarities. The things that make them almost alike. So that's kinda what makes them not really too far different. But Hyperlands has a bigger variety of, you know, games. And they try and switch it up a bit. They make it a little bit more creative than the rest, if you could say that. So the final point to decide it all goes to Hyperland. And in my opinion, but in my opinion, the one that you should probably play is Hyperland. Okay, don't take this into any offense, by the way, at the end of the video. Don't take this into any offense like, oh yeah, Hyperland is bad or I don't like Hyperland. Like don't take and don't take it into any offense like, oh yeah, Nether Games is bad or I don't like Nether Games. This is just my opinion on one of these servers. And which one you should probably play more, I don't mean any offense. These servers, both of them are great. And if you want to check them out, I'll leave the IP and the name in the description. So, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more different videos like this. Anyways, see you guys later.